Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please keep in mind that this is your monthly reading for the month of March 2022. This is a general reading, so please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And you know very well that in case you want to connect with me, my email ID is mentioned below in the description box for your personal private reading. And I always request you people, if you really like what I do, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. And be with me on this journey of Delhi Tarot. Sun, Moon and Rising, Sagittarius. What are your energies for this month? What are your energies for this month? You have appreciation coming, Sagittarius people. That's a lovely energy. Soothing energy. You have door to value. What is happening? Great money coming. My goodness. Woman holding a heart. Okay. Okay. Let us see what angels have to tell you. And later on, I'll pull out the weeklies and in the end, I will pull out your crystal card. Sun, moon and rising Sagittarius. What are your angel messages? What are your angel messages? It's a flyer, forgiveness. Okay. You have within the next few weeks. So whatever you are planning, it is coming to you for sure in the next few weeks. Okay, I'm arranging my cards a little bit. Okay, so if you see your energies this month, it is great money, great abundance, great prosperity. I'm sensing coming from all directions. This month is going to be super powerful as far as money is concerned. You're going to receive the appreciation, not just in case of money, that is more money coming to you, but you will be known for your quality work, your skills, your competencies. This month, you will get extra praise for your work. You also have a card of door to value. This means the kind of money you demand, you are going to get it for sure. So be very careful with what money you are demanding because you are known for your work and quality and your stars for your money. Uh, I'm getting a sense, the angel messages, that this month you have a lot of attracting energies. So you will attract good money, good jobs, good project, good remuneration. Money you are fetching nicely this month for sure. And then there is also a card for love. Whether you are a male or a female, you will have love around you. Your aura is getting full of love. You are going to receive love from people around you. I'm also sensing that if you are uh, with already with your partner, you people are going to nurture the bond nicely. And if you are single, expect to mingle because you are going to get your love soulmate connection. You will be meeting them this particular month for sure. It's a good month because you have money, you have love. It's a very, very balanced reading this time. And... If I see your angel cards, you have the forgiveness. It tells you that there is something you need to move on and forgive. And this is a general reading. I'm sensing this to be a particular relationship. And it could be a personal and professional both. This is something uh, you need to have a peaceful resolution, Sagittarius people, in order to close down your own karma. This forgiveness is very, very important with a particular person, place or a relationship. Now, this is a general reading. You know where you need to give forgiveness. You need to seek forgiveness to close the karmic cycle. And this is a lovely, lovely card. If you're expecting a very specific goal, specific target, specific job, maybe a home, maybe a dream career, dream business or a specific project, you are working already towards that goal. The energies are gaining momentum. It is getting collected at one place and you are going to get that dream, that particular one dream fulfilled a long pending one within the next few weeks. So expect a blessing coming to you in the form of your wish fulfillment in just next few weeks. Now let me see what do we have in your weeklies. For March, Sagittarius people, Sun, Moon and Rising, what do we have in your weeklies? Sun, Moon and Rising, 
Sagittarius angels. Please let us know. Angels, please let us know. What do we need to know? Week one, you have seven of Michael. Week two, you have new beginnings. Lovely. Week three, you have eight of Ariel. And week four, you have four of Michael. So you are being protected, guided by Archangel Michael for your personal and professional life. In week one, let us clarify what do we have in week one. You have the fool. Now new beginning is 100% sure because you're getting multiple cards of new beginning. Then you have the judgment. And then you have 10 of swords. Okay, something is ending and something is beginning for sure in the month of March. You have a Leo card that is strength, your own energy. You have chariot, another major arcana. Look at your reading. Out of six, five cards, your four cards are major arcanas. March is going to be a super powerful month for you. You have five of swords. Communication is going to be very, very important for this particular month because we have got two swords so far. Okay, you have two of wands. You have king of cups in week three. And you have the page of swords and you also have the world here. A lot of flyers are coming into your reading. World is again a major arcana. In week four, you have a death, another major arcana. You have king of wands. There is a very powerful ending, the Hierophant. Oh my goodness, you have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have got seven major arcana, a month of huge, massive, major changes and a great, great closing and ending for sure. This is going to be, your ending is normal, but your beginning is super powerful. That's the energy of your reading. In week one, you have seven of Michael. It says there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. This means while you work in a team, that is really going to help you, suit you, and will fall into your benefit. Try to work in collaboration, in alliances, in partnership, and with team for sure. Now, if I see your first week reading, you have two major arcana, that is Fool and the Judgment, and you have Ten of Sword. You have the same uh, week cards wherein you have the ending and you have the beginning. Now, Ten of Sword says that there is something you have been pulling off, you are tired, you have struggled a lot, and you have decided to close something. It could be a relationship, it could be a job, it could be a project, it could be a business, even it could be a home wherein you are done, that I don't want to stay in this house anymore. You are done with all the struggles for you. You are mentally, emotionally, physically prepared to close that struggled thing. And you know better what is it. And simultaneously the angels are telling you that there is more to the world more to your life start looking in a better perspective have a different point of view come out of your grave and look 360 degree around you need to change your outlook you need to change your perspective at how you look at things and how you look at the other world but there is a different viewpoint which is expected and required and with this super powerful ending you have a major beginning with the fool which is telling you that you have to take that leap of faith. You have that all skills and competencies wherein you have the power for the new beginning. Lovely reading. Then you have new beginning in week two. It says starting a new life, finding your purpose of forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Now forgiving is coming into your reading again, my dear Sagittarius. You know, when we forgive something, when we cut the cords, when we close the chapter from our side, the kind of lightness, peace and calm we feel is really a great energy to start something new. You know, it's difficult to do that. I understand. I completely resonate with it. But then I am, I, I personally, it's my experience that when you do it, 
you feel really great, nice and calmer. And it gives you great, great superpower and enthusiasm to begin something new. So I'm talking about that peace and forgiveness for you. You have two major arcana in week two. That is the strength, the chariot. Now, when you are ending, you definitely need the courage, need the courage and the boldness to close it. You have to take a very harsh, very rude decision, very strong decision, I should say. Uh, it's it's going to be difficult for you, but it is important for you. So you have to keep your peace, peace and calm with yourself. The chariot says that it's time for the forward movement. You have to put all your energies into one direction and I'm thinking this to be the professional one. You have to put all your direction and you have to move forward positively in one direction. You have five of sword. Now, five of sword says that there is little animism or jealousy. People, you know, in not so well wisher, they want to harm you. They want to give you certain loss. But the beauty of your reading is that you have Archangel Michael in your reading and he's there to give you that protection. In week three, you have eight of Ariel that is take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. It's time for upskilling. It's time to invest in your skills and competencies. I also th see that you are going back to school, doing extra degrees and diploma certifications, but there will be an expansion in the kind of work you do. You will be learning new things, something which you have never explored or never done, but you will experience that now you are ready to explore the new dimensions in your career. Week four has additional card and it has a page. That means you will be getting the communication. If there was struck communication, people were not talking, what are not responding, you're going to get the relevant message, a phone call, an email, whatever you are expecting. You have two of wands here. There will be more opportunities coming to you than expected and all the opportunities are going to be good. And you have king of cups in your reading. This says that you, when working in a team, in a cordial love, care and affectionate manner is really going to suit you because people really love working with you and you are a people's person. You know how to get the work done from team and they really love you for your work. You have the world here. Now, this is a clear indication, Sagittarius people, with so many endings and so many powerful beginnings, you are completing one chapter of your life. From this, this point, your life is completely going to change. I see you shifting from one network to another, one type of work to the expansion of work. This is very, very, uh, you know, important for you because a shift is coming to your life. Actually, personal level, professional level, there is a shift coming to your life. And then you have four of Michael. It says insights that come from quiet meditation the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. <laughs> it's important that you give self-care to yourself and it's important that you give priority to your health along with your work. Now, it is obvious that we have so many endings in your reading and death is another a great card to show that there is a super powerful ending, something which is naturally coming to an end because there is a dead end to your struggle and obstacle and challenges to something. Now, whenever there is an ending, there is a super powerful beginning. Now, you have two cards, king. There are two kings in your reading, king of cup and king of wands. This clearly means that you will be working very, very nicely. You will be working in a very cordial manner and you are known for your, for your nature, for your character, for your human nature, for the skills and competencies. Two kings means that yes, you will be getting the required promotion, senior level position in your career if you are working, if you are in business, people really love to work with you. From now, you will be moving into making your organization. From now, you will be, you will be having your own team. Now, when two kings are appearing in a reading, this is a clear signal, dear Sagittarius people, that if you are working alone, now, the expansion is going to be such that you will be becoming a leader soon. You will be becoming the team leader, the head of people, and you will have a team from now to work. This does not mean clearly alliance, but it means that when you are king, now you have got two cards of king. Now, when you are king, 
it is time that you will have a team of people following you and you will be leading them for sure. So even if you are working single handedly from now, apart from alliances and partnership from single working hand, you will now have a team and you will be leading that team in your work. So you're moving in a senior level or maybe you're getting team to help you out for your work. You have the Hierophant, the major arcana again, and it's a clear signal that you have to keep on moving the way you are moving in your career. There is not much modification is required in your work style, but keep your values, keep your ethics intact, and you have to expand in terms of your skills and competencies. That's the only thing required in your reading today. Now let us see which crystal is going to suit you this month and what is the message related to that crystal. Sun, moon and rising. Sun, moon and rising. Sun, moon and rising. Sun, moon and rising. Sagittarius, which crystal will be good for you? And it is Sujilite. Own your divine power. It says replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. Wonderful. This means that even if you are leading the team here, it is important that you retain your own power of work. You retain your own skills and competencies in your work. It is just that you have to get the work done out of the team. But the overall completion, the power of work, the power of doing any business, the power of doing any job, you have to keep the cord in your hands to have a brilliant control of what you are doing. It is important that you give, you know, empowerment to people. But ultimately, the things have to be done with your hands only. So, dear Sagittarius, that was your wonderful reading for the month of March. I really enjoyed your reading. It's a very, very powerful and a balanced reading. Do let me know that how you resonated with it. And I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.